Bill is no closer to solving the mystery of his mother's confinement to a mental home. One person who might be able to shed light on the matter is Bill's Aunt Marjorie, who he lost touch with until very recently. It's only now, really, that it struck me that here is the last link. If I'm ever going to find out what really happened to my mother, then a visit to Auntie Marjorie is um, essential. Marjorie lives near Worthing in Sussex. Bill's arranged to meet her for tea. Hello, oh, madam. How are you doing, The bit, though, Margie, you know, I, which I had to say is still shrouded in total mystery to me, yeah, is how she ended up in Barnsley Hall. That was your grandmother's but, doing. Because well, but how did it happen? Grand, what has she done? Because right? your grandmother was nag, nag, nag me at her. And Lillian was brushing the half, you know, it was a coal fire mm. in those days. Mm. And she had a brushing, hand brushing the uh, dustpan. Mm. And she was, you know, shut up or else kind of thing. Yes. And your grandma, she didn't hit her, but she, your grandmother told your dad. And he, what, called the doctor in or somebody and said, yes. this woman's getting... Violent but, or no, no. Well, she became hysterical because of your grandmother. Because she was always there with your grandmother. I that know. was the Tell trouble. Me about it. I know. Now, How old was Mum when, when she had me? It was only 41. Lillian had a miscarriage, first of all, at about five to seven months. Uh, which is pretty horrendous, to say the least. And then she had a, a second child. And then the second one died as a girl. To five days. Five days old? Your grandmother wouldn't let your mother go upstairs when this little baby was crying. And she did go upstairs eventually, and she died on her own vomit. That was two babies that had gone. So when you arrived, Bill, you were spoilt to the extent that Lillian used to go every night and sleep until you went to sleep. She must have been very scared. She was. She yeah, was scared of your grandmother. Yes. Yeah. In case she lost you, you yeah, see. Right, yeah. mm -hmm. I mean, this is unbelievable stuff. She must have been so, I guess the word, traumatised or whatever, to go from, you know, in three consecutive exactly. years. And, and had your grandmother there all the time. She the other thing, that she, actually, she was actually living and continued to have to live and had the prospect of always having to live with my granny, yeah. who, in a way, she could, we've, she could actually, but she could actually think that woman killed my baby. Oh, what do we call it? In those days, let's face it, it was an asylum, a sanatorium, the loony bin, something like that. This really does feel like coming home. Oak Tree Crescent. What a verdant name, eh?